Ryan Romley, who I mentioned earlier, I think it was today or yesterday, he was talking about it on Twitter, where within five years, and he's actually saying probably later on this year, you can actually create your own app by just, you know, sketching out a couple of drawings on a piece of paper and also giving it a prompt. And so these may be single time use apps for a specific task, which is ultimately how I'm using Lindy. But as individuals that aren't information science majors who aren't programmers by trade, we'll be able to create our own applications. And I think that's probably, I, I, I tend to agree with Brian. So like, it's going to be closer in. So if it's not at the end of this year, it's going to be certainly next year. I've already seen demos of people creating interfaces like via computer vision. So you sketch something out on a piece of paper, show it to the computer's camera, and it actually codes it up for you like that. I've already seen that demo. So it's not too much of a stretch to think that you could also add a few prompts to it and then you create something that you can run on your phone. Now, how that all works at, at some point, I don't know, but I know that's the direction of travel. So it'll become kind of a democratization of technology, whereas anyone you'd be able to create your own application versus you know the, the outlay of uh, capital to hire developers, hire UXers, hire a bunch of other folks. Um, so for a small business person, it's going to be great because you're, you're going to be in control and you're going to be able to do a lot more um, without needing to go outside. Yeah. So do you, you look at that as a mostly positive thing? I mean, do you think about any of the downsides of, you know, basically what you described? Like I think about it too. And I, you know, Sora just came out with video generation mm -hmm. and anybody can, you know, write an essay with, through chat GPT in minutes and seconds. Right. I always just think, you know, like, isn't it just going to flood the internet with too much of this low level content or, or these low level applications? And I mean, does that matter? I don't know. I just, that, that's the one piece is if it becomes so easy for anyone to do it, everyone's going to do it. And then yeah. it kind of loses its, its meaning or its staying power. I don't know. Honestly, I've heard that argument throughout my entire career. So like it, when I was in college, digital photography was in its infancy. And so I was in a photography class where one of the big camera stores here in Chicago came and showed off a $40,000 camera. It was a Kodak um, back. And all the photography students were absolutely against it. This is, you know, image manipulation is going to be way too easy. Uh, all the art's going to be lost. Any hack will be able to do it. Same thing was said with cell phone photos or cameras, quite frankly. Um, if you are a professional and if you know how to do it by adopting the technology, you're going to have a leg up on a amateur or someone that actually doesn't understand how to create. So like it was the same thing with a Mac, you know, in the early days of design, um, there's plenty of examples of, oh no, this technology is just going to replace humans and it's going to be horrible, or it's going to make it so available to everyone that it's just going to be a bunch of a sea of sameness. And quite frankly, that is, hasn't really happened. I know that's always the concern, but if you are a creative professional, the best thing you could do right now is actually start investigating how to use the technology to make your craft better. So whether it's you know helping brainstorm ideas for blog articles, helping um, SEO optimize something you've already written, like whatever like you're trying to do, like if you start to learn that, you're going to be much better off in three years than someone who hasn't you know, try to figure out how to implement it within their workflow. I think the other thing and something that you and I talked about earlier um, was right now, there's a lot of folks that are dabbling. So especially in mid to large size organizations. So there's like ones and twos and different departments that are kind of exploring and seeing how they can make their day more efficient. Some businesses are even incentivizing that. And if you find something that's really cool, they'll give you like a $2,000 bonus. And then you can actually teach other people how to do it. So they're actively showing like or having developers try to use the technology to either write code or debug stuff. They're having designers use it for like idea generation. Um, there's a bunch of different applications of it. But yes, there is the, the tendency is in the human condition to be all doom and gloom and assume that, you know, this is going to be the worst. And I've seen Terminator. Like I know how that story ends and I'm definitely very cognizant of it. 